Good morning. Video 101. Today we talk about a genius coach builder engineering Ilario Bandini. On December 29 I was in Forlì at Bandini's museum. It was snowing that day and the trip to get there was very challenging but very worth seeing the museum. Ilario's nephew Dino is in charge of the museum. There were not many cars built because only 75 chassis number are in his register. Only 46 cars registered are still in existence. Dino Bandini wrote a race car book where all the Bandini's owners are mentioned. The owner's list is very important in order to avoid replicas behind made. The Bandini's register could also make sure that a replica fiberglass car could not be made similar to a Bandini model. All of the Bandini cars have an aluminum body and oval tube frame chassis. In the museum there were some remarkable models for the history of these and make mix. We can see here the first flat head engine, the Saponetta and the Siluro models. Also, here is the last car made by Ilario Bandini in 1991. We are talking about the 1 liter turbo. Unfortunately, this car could not be completed because Ilario passed away. The car still needs some details to be completed. The museum has two sections. The first one is regarding the cars on display and the second one has very important car parts and prices from the various races. Ilario used to race driving the car he built. In the second section of the video we can find engines and transmissions completed and incompleted. It is very clear that Ilario was a genius because he could build an entire car, body and mechanical part by himself. He was used to working with aluminum parts, using heavy bags full of sand eating and molding the body to shape his car. He was using the same tubes used in airplanes. He built a special twin cam head for his engines. He made aluminum casting for the engine oil sump system. He also built the gearboxes, steering wheels and hello wheels. You can see all these interesting things in the museum. Ilario's logo is a rooster and device used for a trailer on a country farm. The logo represents the rural country origin of Ilario Bandini. Now let's describe the last car built by Ilario. We are talking about the last Bandini Berlinetta 1 liter Turbo 16 valves. He began to design the chassis and it took six years to build this car. But unfortunately, he passed away in 1992. Before the car was finished, in fact, the glass to the doors are still missing.
The engine block of this car is made completely by hand. The turbo system was discovered by him and adapted to the car. He taught to install a mechanical injection system to increase the power of the engine. The transmission was totally built by him with the correct gearbox for the car. The interior is not elegant because we are talking about a race car where comfort is not considered important. The dry sump lubrication was made by Ilario. The idea was born out of the idea of using jug of milk in aluminium. The engine could reach 10,000 revs. It could not break easily because the engine has five main bearing supports. He also put Titanium connect rods in the car, making all the mechanical parts very, very strong. Now we talk about another car. We are talking about Bandini 1300, here 1980. Ilario built the engine interior in aluminium and also created the special engine head. This car has a 16 valve engine and a dry sample amplification. The body of this model is still in fiberglass to make the car lighter to race of the race track and high climb races. The shape is very beautiful and interesting. The third car is a 1000p, here 1964, very beautiful car with a special muffler and a very unusual shape. This car is very particular because this is the first car built by Lario with a rear engine. He really liked to engine in front like Enzo Ferrari. The chassis is lighter, about 20 kilos, less than the other cars. The engine is 8 valve and it has spherical combustion charger. The engine is an 8 valve and it has spherical combustion chamber, like Gordini race cars. The carburetors were 38 millimeters downdraft. This car has been tested by Teodoro Zeccoli, a very famous Alfa Romeo tester and driver. Later on, he raced driving the car. Now, always looking at the previously viewed car, we have this Bandini Junior, year 1960. Displacement 1.1 liter, based on Fiat 1.1 liter engine. This car had the engine and all mechanical detail modified by Ilario to get more power. Ilario put in a twin cam head and which made it very updated in order to increase better performances. Formula Junior was a class most often used in this era. In fact, other makes like Stangolini, Volpini and Taraschi raced in the same class. So we finish 
to see the first part of the video about uh, Bandini History and Museum. I hope you like this video. You can subscribe to the channel Auto Epoca Nordest. Just touch the bell to subscribe and see the cars and the next videos. Thank you.